Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna continue with configuring Big IP DNS series. In the first video, I explained in detail about what is Big IP DNS, how it works, and what are the advantages of Big IP DNS over the traditional DNS setup. The second video here, we're gonna see how to configure a Big IP DNS. So this video will be helpful to those who wanna practice Big IP products. The topics that we're going to cover in this video is an overview of uh, Big IP appliance and how to register and get a 90 days trial version so that it can use uh, for your lab purpose. Then we will see how to provision the resources. So this video will be helpful for all those who want to start with any Big IP products because it is common for all Big IP products. This is how a F5 appliance looks here in the left and top first RJ45 port is for management interface and the USB port below that you can use it for firmware updates. The console is for terminal access like Cisco devices. You can use a rich set of TMOS commands to manage F5 devices. Below that a failover port is there. This is for heartbeat communication with the other F5 devices when you need high availability. Then the next ports are for internal and external connection with your devices and firewall. And the ports can be assigned as per your need. It is not fixed as internal or external. The indicator LEDs are for indications of errors and warnings. The display and control buttons can be used for initial management IP configurations. In the first part of the demo, we're gonna register and download Big IP DNS OVA file from downloads.f5.com. When you register, you will receive a 90 days trial license to your inbox. Let's see how to do this. Go to downloads.f5.com, fill up the evaluation informations, then click request license keys. Once you finish the registration, you will get the keys into your inbox. The next step is to download the appropriate software based upon our environment. For that, click here. A lot of big IP virtual edition is available based upon the platform. Here I'm going to choose VMware EXSI as a platform for big IP F5. So download OVA file suitable for VMware EXSI. Before we go to the deployment demo, I would like to give you an overview of Big IP initial setup. The first step we're going to do is to configure the management port to start provisioning Big IP device or virtual edition. The second step is to activate the licenses. A Big IP, whether it is a virtual edition or an appliance or a cloud, the operating system is similar across all platforms and all modules. So based upon the license, you will be eligible to use the modules. For example, if you have license for DNS, you can use DNS in that virtual edition or that appliance. If you have LTM and DNS license, then you can use both module in same device or same virtual edition image. After this step, we're going to install device certificate, configure platform, network, time server and DNS. Open VMware workstation and open the big IP OVA image from here. Accept the license agreement. Click next. Select a storage path for this virtual machine. Click next. Here you can select deployment options as this is for a demonstration purpose. I would like to go with the least one. Select import. Now the big IP is ready. Let's go to the settings and you can see there are four network cards available. This I will explain to you later. Now let us connect the first one to proper network. The first one gonna use it for management here I'm preparing a similar network for one of my client machines so that I can access F5 management browser from the client machine now let us power up big IP virtual edition image now the big IP is ready next we're gonna configure management connection for big IP virtual image 
there are three options available for management connection you can connect to a default ip 192.168.1.254 or you can configure it from lcd using the control buttons the other option you can connect via a console and then you can configure it i'm going to demonstrate to you how to connect via console and configure big ip management connection the login defaults are showing here and when you look at the diagram you can see there are three ip addresses uh, mentioned one is for the management ip and there is internal self ip and external self ip you need to assign a port for external connection and an ip address and this ip address is the ip address belongs to that vlan in big ip it is called as external self ip and for the internal connections you need to configure a port for internal connection and an ip need to be assigned from that vlan and this is called as internal self ip in big ip dns log into console using the default uh, username and password the username is root and password is default here enter tm message to start demos configuration the first command that we are typing here is to configure the management ip it has failed because the dhcp is enabled we need to disable it and you can see uh, the tm message already showing a command uh, to run uh, to disable the dhcp so we'll just run it and disable dhcp now let us try the management uh, ip it has done once you complete the configuration go for a reboot once you complete the deployment configuration of management interface the next step is to start from the client machine and to configure big ip from web browser once you log in you can see a setup utility is waiting for you the first step is to activate the license click activate then enter the base registration key that you received by email you have two options to activate you can activate automatically but it need an internet connectivity the second option you can manually do it when you click automatic activation method then you need to select an outbound interface which have internet connectivity click manual and click next now copy the dossier then you can see step 2 licensing server this is a licensing server activate.fi.com enter the dossier here just paste it click next accept the license agreement click next now the license is ready either download it or just copy it then go back to the client machine just paste it in step 3 then click next now the system has configured with your license click continue now this is to provision the resources what are available for you as it is a trial license i have a lot of license enabled uh, you have two options you can use as a dedicated one now this appliance or virtual image is just dedicated for gtm or dns only or if you put nominal you can select uh, other modules also and you can also assign uh, required memory and required gb available so in this case ltm is um, using the minimum resource and it give priority to uh, global traffic management or dns so this is how you can provision your uh, virtual image or appliance uh, it's all same whether it is a virtual edition or appliance so here i'm going to choose global traffic management or dns as a dedicated option because that is a part of our demo then click next and it requests uh, isn't just informing you that it need a reboot once you provision the resources now the configuration has completed the next step is to install the device certificate just click next and it is showing you the management ip address that we configured from console and here you can change the management ip address also you can add a gateway for your management ip address and also host name and you can change account and uh, admin password from here 
and also the time zone and you can configure secure the SSH access by specifying a speci special ranges for that so once you fill up everything just click next so the minimum configuration has completed then the next step is to uh, start the advanced configuration to configure the standard advanced uh, network configuration just click next here you can see there is config sync and high availability options uh, this is the case where we need a redundancy for f5 this will be explained later here we have to configure self IP for internal network configuration. Once you configure the IP, we can select an interface. Here you can see three interfaces are available. And this mapping is showing that which interface is mapped to the network. Then add one of the interface, then click next. Repeat the same for external network also. Here you can select a different interface. Then click finished. Let's do the other two pending configurations, DNS and NTP. Enter the DNS lookup server IP address here. Click add and just go for update. That's it. Now go back and configure time server for that click NTP enter the time server IP address click add then update it that's all thanks for watching this video continue with me subscribe my youtube channel for more videos